Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding capital gain or loss and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called stocks with four different columns, stock name, operation, operation day, and price. And these are the data types. The combination of stock name and operation day is the primary key for this table. The operation column is, a, is of enum type, right? So it can either take a sell value or a buy value. It is mentioned that each row of this table indicates that the stock which has stock name had an operation on the day, operation day with the price, okay? It is guaranteed that each cell operation for a stock has a, has a corresponding buy in a previous day and it is also gu guaranteed the other way around, right? So that is, it is also guaranteed that each buy operations for a stock has a corresponding sell operation in an upcoming day. So basically what this means is that every time a person or someone buys this, the stock, he or she is going to sell the stock. And if there is a selling of a stock, then there is definitely going to be a buying of the stock. If you, uh, you know, uh, are in the stock market, you can, uh, you know, hold the stock as well. You can receive the stock as gifts from others. So the, those conditions are not here. It is very simple condition. You buy and you sell. You buy and you sell. That's it, right? So we are asked to write a SQL query to report the capital gain loss for each stock. Basically, what is this? So if you bought for uh, uh, bought a stock for $10 and sold it for $20, there is a gain of $10. If you bought it for $10 and sold it for $5, then you have a loss of $5, right? So that is what it is. The capital gain loss of a stock is the total gain or loss after buying and selling the stock one or many times. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So this is the stocks table with the following uh, data, right? Now, here we see different stocks, right? So lead code, Corona mask, handbags. Uh, these three are the different stocks. And on the operation day, first, second, fifth, like different operation days, this, so for example, for lead code stock, right? So lead, so lead code stock was bought on day one at a thousand dollar and then sold on day fifth for nine thousand dollars so what would be the capital gain first of all what would be will it be a gain or loss so obviously you are selling more selling for more than you bought so obviously it is a gain gain of nine thousand minus one thousand eight thousand dollars for your handbags right you bought it for thirty thousand and you sold it for seven thousand so obviously it is a loss of mine of twenty three thousand dollars for corona masks right so here there are multiple rows so you bought on second day you sold on third day you bought on fourth day you sold on fifth day you bought on sixth day you sold on tenth day right and then what would be the overall gain or loss for corona mask it would be this so this buy and bought and sell right so 10 10 minus 10 plus sell so 500 minus 1000 plus 10,000 minus 1000 right so that is what would be the case and if you see these are the three different uh, outputs right for different stocks so if you look at the math basically what do you, what you are doing so this question might seem you know medium difficulty and language can be you know seems like it is a very difficult question and we need to have a lot of you know common table expressions and things like that but ultimately what we are doing right what is the maths so for lead code what we did we subtracted the sold price minus buying price right now this was where lead code was bought once and sold once right so what did we do for lead code let me write down so for lead code what we did was so we sold it for nine thousand and we subtracted it was bought for one thousand right now for corona mask it handbags same case it was only bought once and sold once but for corona mask it was bought three times and sold three times right so basically the overall for corona mask would be corona masks 
right so what would be the overall for this so it would be uh, 10 10 so 1010 minus 10 so this one minus this one plus 500 minus 1000 right so this one you bought it for 1000 and you sold for 500 and then you bought for 1000 and sold it for 10,000 so plus 10,000 minus 1000 right so this is what uh, the entire maths come into so basically what we are doing we are basically adding the uh, prices that the corona mask or a stock was sold so it was sold at 1010 it was sold at 500 it was sold as 10000 right so it, you add that and then you subtract all the summation of all the prices it was bought so basically this can also be written as right i will let you know why i am doing this simple maths you know so basically it is what 1010 10 plus 500 plus 10000 right and then you are subtract these are all the selling prices right and then you are subtracting all the buying price so 10 plus 1000 plus 1000 right so this is what you are doing so the maths is very simple and this is we need this is what we need to do so if you think if we take the table orders or uh, stocks and then we group by the different stocks we return the stocks and we return the summation based on a condition that if the operation was buy then you basically add a negative to the price column if it was a sell then let it be as it is right so basically what is this entire thing so this can also be written as plus what minus 10 minus 1000 minus 1000 right so basically what we are doing we are adding uh, uh, we are taking the price as it is when it was us when the stock was sold and we are adding the buying prices but before adding we are adding a negative sign to the buying price so if you see if i write this in this into a sql query what will happen from the table called stocks we group by the first column would be stock name so stock name and then what we are returning return the stock name and then summation but based on a condition so how do we write conditions in sql usually using case when then statements right so sum but case when the operation is a buy right when operation is a buy then price should be multiplied with a negative value right so minus one else when it is not a buy then it obviously is going to be sell sell so you you know just return the price you end the case statement and since the output has an alias of uh, of this column as capital gain loss you just alias it as capital gain loss right so you see this is this is basically this entire this uh, this entire sql query is doing this algebraic calculation right let me remove this let's go ahead and run this to see if it gets accepted so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do this so you see here all we had to do was try to see what the basic algebra behind this calculation of gain capital gain and stocks would be and just do that i have also pinned down a comment so the first comment below this video i have written another uh, solution to this problem which involves common table expressions which goes in a more logical way than this 
let me know if you guys found that useful or this one was useful and let me know if you cannot understand anything in that query as well uh, i am sure there would be other ways to do this as well let me know if uh, you can you know find out any other or better ways to do this or any simpler way or a faster way to do this as well right or maybe you can do if you can do it in lesser number of lines so let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video